Welcome to a world beyond your wildest imagination, where nature presents us with the most surreal and unbelievable creations that you'll ever witness. Prepare to have your mind completely blown away, because what we have in store for you aren't ordinary sights that you see every day. We have scoured every corner of the globe searching for the 20 strangest things in nature. From psychedelic colored trees to glowing ocean water and even waterfalls that look straight out of a very well-written horror movie, trust us, you won't believe your eyes. If you thought you had seen it all, think again. This world has secrets so fascinating that they'll leave you thinking that they come from a different planet. Number 20. Mapogo Lion Gang Once upon a time, there was a notorious band of lions that roamed the vast expanse of the Sabi Sand region in Kruger National Park. This coalition of male lions became known as the Mapogo, and their power and strength were legendary. They conquered an area of around 170,000 acres, taking down anything and everything in their path. It's believed that within a year, they killed over 100 lions, including cubs. They dominated such a vast territory that experts suspect the death toll may have been even higher. At their peak, the coalition consisted of six male lions, Makulu, Rasta, Scar, Pretty Boy, Kinky Tail, and Mr. T. These six lions killed 40% of all lions in Africa. The Mapogo Coalition originated from the Sparta Pride in Malamala and migrated to the western sector in 2006. They were part of a new trend in the Sabi Sand Reserve where large male lion coalitions were becoming more common. The five related brothers were sired by a mega pride coalition of five males, with Makulu being the unaffiliated elder statesman. But Makulu's story was unique. Unlike the other Mapogos, he was not born into the Sparta Pride. Instead, as a sub-adult of 20 to 21 months, he attached himself to the Pride in the summer of 2000 after losing his own family. Despite his size and strength, the lionesses didn't accept him into their tribe, and the West Street males were hesitant to welcome him as well. However, they ultimately spared Makulu's life and decided to tolerate him. Experts suspect that this acceptance may have been due to his being the offspring of one of the West Street males and a lioness from another pride, making him the Mapogos half-brother. And together, the Mapogos wreaked havoc on their territory. Oh, and make sure to subscribe and like the video, or Makulu here will pay you a visit very soon. Fair warning, he hasn't been in a very good mood lately. Number 19. Lake Hillier Lake Hillier is a unique and stunning natural wonder located on Middle Island off the coast of Western Australia. What sets this lake apart from the others in the world is its peculiar, striking pink water, which gives the lake an otherworldly quality, almost like something you would find in a galaxy far, far away. Scientists have been studying the phenomenon of Lake Hillier's pink water for decades, and there are a few theories about why it occurs. One theory suggests that the color comes from a dye-like pigment produced by a type of algae that lives in the saline water. Another theory suggests that it could be due to the presence of high levels of salt in the water combined with the lake's high temperatures, which create an ideal environment for bacteria to thrive and produce a pink pigment. Regardless of what causes the phenomenon, Lake Hillier remains an awe-inspiring sight that attracts visitors from around the world. The lake is surrounded by a dense forest of eucalyptus and lignum trees and is only accessible by boat or helicopter, which makes the experience of seeing this pink wonder even more special. And it creates a gorgeous contrast. The delicate pink waters are seen against the rich, deep green of the eucalyptus trees. Number 18. Red-Eyed Tree Frog this incredible creature is like a living jewel found in the lush forests from Central America all the way to northwestern South America. With its stunning green body and eye-catching blue and yellow stripes on the side, the red-eyed tree frog is a true wonder of the rainforest. But what really steals the show are its bright red eyes, giving it a name that matches its fabulous style. 
The red-eyed tree frog loves to hang out in the trees. With its long limbs and webbed toes, it's the perfect climber. When it's time for love, these frogs gather near ponds in lowland wet areas of tropical forests to find their perfect match. Don't be fooled by its fancy appearance, though. The red-eyed tree frog is not poisonous, so it relies on other clever tricks to stay safe. During the day, it uses its green back to blend in with the leaves, playing hide-and-seek with predators. If it feels threatened, it flashes its striking red eyes, startling any potential danger and giving itself a chance to escape. At night, this agile hunter emerges to feast on tasty insects. While the males are smaller than the females, they have their own style of wooing. They show off their moves to impress the ladies, and it's the ladies who have the final say. Number 17. The Great Blue Hole The Great Blue Hole is a magnificent underwater sinkhole located off the west coast of Belize in Central America. It is the largest marine sinkhole in the world, having a diameter of around 1,043 feet and a depth of about 406 feet. The sinkhole is part of a barrier reef system of Belize and was created as a result of a series of geological events that took place tens of thousands of years ago. The Great Blue Hole has become a major attraction for divers around the world who come to explore its stunning underwater beauty and mystery. The walls of the sinkhole are covered with beautiful corals and sponges, while the deeper parts of the hole provide a home for a wide variety of marine life, including different species of sharks and fish. One of the fascinating mysteries surrounding the Great Blue Hole is how it was formed. Scientists believe that it was created as a result of the rising sea levels during the last ice age, which caused the limestone shore to erode and gradually sink. Over time, the sinkhole was filled with water, which led to the creation of an underwater world of breathtaking beauty. Number 16. The Zombie Insect The unilateral Aphiocordyceps, commonly known as cordyceps or ant zombie fungus, is a type of parasitic fungus that infects and ultimately controls the behavior of insects, particularly ants, in tropical forest regions. It has gained notoriety for its ability to turn the infected insects into zombies, as the fungus manipulates the behavior of the host before killing it. Yeah, I know, it sounds like the plot of a horror movie, right? But the scariest part about this fungus is that it is very real. The life cycle of cordyceps begins with the fungus spores attaching themselves to an insect host and then growing inside its body, eventually reaching the brain. The fungus then releases chemicals that controls the ant's behavioral patterns, causing it to leave its colony and seek higher ground. Eventually, the fungus kills the ant and a stalk emerges from its head, through which the fungus releases spores, leading to the infection of other ants. The reason behind the fungus turning insects into zombies is to provide a means of reproduction, as its spores cannot spread without the help of an insect host. And believe it or not, there are benefits to such horrendous behavior that can also be seen in the ecosystem. Basically, it helps control the ant population, reducing their impact on the surrounding environment. In other words, the zombie fungus isn't all bad. Number 15. Donchia Landform Are you ready for an adventure in China? Come with me and let's explore the Donchia Landform. You won't believe your eyes when you see this amazing natural wonder. The Donchia Landform is a unique and special place located in the southern part of China. It's made up of towering cliffs and jagged rocks that are full of vibrant colors like reds, yellows, oranges, and pinks. These colors are caused by layers of rock that were formed millions of years ago. Now, you might be thinking, how did these fantastic rocks get to be this way? Well, a long, long time ago, around 200 million years ago, the land was covered by lakes and rivers. As the Earth's crust moved and shifted, the lakes and rivers dried up, leaving behind layers of sediment. Over time, the sediments were pushed up and folded, creating the beautiful cliffs and rock formations that we see today. The natural process of erosion then took place, carving and shaping the rock formations into their unique shapes. The Donchia Landform is truly a sight to behold. 
and it is one of the most amazing natural wonders in the world. It's so special that it was even named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 14. Striped Eel Catfish Dancing in Group Diving instructor Marie Larverne spotted a school of young striped eel catfish in Jemaluk Bay, Ahmed, Bali. And boy, did she capture some mesmerizing footage. These little guys move as one, creating a wall and stirring up sand as they oscillate together. And did you know that they have whisker-like organs called barbels that have taste buds and surround their mouths? Cool, right? These juvenile striped eels are usually found in dense schools with up to 100 individuals to protect themselves from predators until they reach sexual maturity. Here's a fun fact. The adults are venomous and can give a painful sting, but the young ones can only produce a mild venom that makes your fingers tingle. But don't put your fingers in the school, okay? When the striped eel catfish grow up, they become solitary or are found in smaller groups of around 20. They hide under ledges during the day and come out to feed on crustaceans, mollusks, worms, and fish at night, which they hunt out by stirring the sand. These unique creatures usually live in coral reefs, estuaries, and tide pools in the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific Ocean. But beware! Striped eel catfish are highly poisonous, and their venom can even be fatal to humans. Number 13. Underwater River, Mexico have you ever heard of an underwater river? Well, hang on tight, because we're about to take a plunge into the fascinating Cenote Angelita, a secret underwater river in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This incredible river was created when the top of a limestone cave collapsed, forming a giant sinkhole. The sinkhole then filled up with fresh water with a thin layer of salt water on the bottom. This creates the illusion of a mystical river flowing into the abyss. Cenote Angelita is remarkably deep, with a maximum depth of approximately 200 feet, almost 61 meters. That's as tall as an 18-story building. And the river spans about two and a half miles, about four kilometers, so it's pretty long, too. What's even cooler is that the sinkhole is surrounded by lush vegetation, and you can see the tree branches and leaves falling into the water, creating an ethereal atmosphere. The water is so clear that you can see the different layers of salt and fresh water, creating an incredible visual effect. The underwater river is home to various fish species, making it a fascinating place for divers to explore. As you gaze down from the surface, all you see is deep blue water. However, as you submerge to approximately 60 feet, a peculiar sight reveals itself before your eyes. Gradually, you begin to see a few eerie and spooky tree trunks and branches sticking out. Number 12. Petrifying Well Did you know that there exist some magical wells which can turn everything that comes into contact with them into stone? <laughs> no kidding, it's true. They're called petrifying wells, and they are really cool. So first things first, what are petrifying wells? Well, they're wells made of limestone that have a special power. When objects get submerged in the water, the minerals in the water slowly replace the object's soft parts with hard ones, thus turning it into a solid rock. It's like the well is putting a spell on everything. The object remains in the water for several weeks, and once they're removed from the water, they look like they're made of stone. Even small things like teddy bears or toy cars can be turned into beautiful rock sculptures. Now, you might be wondering how it all works. Well, the water in these wells contains minerals like calcium carbonate, which is a natural cement. When objects are placed in the water, the water's minerals start to bond with the object's organic matter, eventually encasing it in a rock-hard surface. Visiting petrifying wells is like visiting a magical land where everything turns into stone. You can even see the stalactites and stalagmites that have formed over thousands of years, making it look like you're walking through a maze of stone. Sounds pretty cool, right? So next time you see a petrifying well, make sure to throw a toy in and see the magic happen. Number 11. 
the snake's head remains alive after being cut off. We've got a mind-blowing story that'll make you think twice about snakes. This story sounds like it's straight out of a zombie movie. Jennifer Sutcliffe and her husband were doing some backyard work near Corpus Christi, Texas during the Memorial Day weekend. As they were weeding, they stumbled upon a feisty, four-foot-long rattlesnake. Yikes! Being the hero he is, Jennifer's husband quickly grabbed a shovel and beheaded the slithering intruder to protect his wife. Now, here comes the jaw-dropping part. As he went to dispose of the snake's head, it struck back. That's right, the decapitated head bit his hand, injecting venom and everything. How on earth is that even possible? Well, it turns out that snakes have some crazy cool biology going on. You see, snakes are what we call ectotherms, which means they rely on external heat sources to warm themselves up, like the sun. Unlike us warm-blooded humans, they don't need as much energy or oxygen to keep their bodies going. So even without a body, they can hang on for a little while longer. Talk about survival skills. Now, we're not saying that the snakes suddenly turn into a self-aware, headless creature seeking revenge. No, it probably just reacted instinctively to the pain and tried to defend itself. But still, it's crazy to think about what snakes are capable of. So the next time you encounter a snake, remember this bizarre tale and maybe, just maybe, give them a little more respect for their incredible adaptability. Number 10. Salar de Uni this place is straight out of a dream. We're talking about the incredible Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia, a spot that'll leave you spellbound. Imagine stepping into a vast expanse of nothing but pure, blinding white salt as far as the eye can see. It's like you've landed on another planet where the laws of nature have gone wild. This place is the largest salt flat on Earth, and trust us, it's a feast for the eyes. When the rainy season comes knocking, this magical wonderland transforms into a massive mirror, reflecting the sky above in perfect harmony. You'll feel like you're walking on clouds, surrounded by a surreal, shimmering landscape. Who needs Photoshop when Mother Nature puts on a show like this? Oh, and did we mention the mind-bending optical illusions? Remember those forced perspective photos you've seen online? Well, the Solar de Uyuni is the ultimate playground for those incredible shots. Picture yourself shrinking down to tiny proportions, holding the sun in your hand, or even battling a giant dinosaur made entirely of salt. The possibilities are endless. Well, let's not forget the adorable residents of this salted paradise. Flamingos gracefully wade through the shallow waters, adding pops of bright and vibrant pink to this otherworldly scene. Number 9. Barrel Eye These creatures, aka spookfish, are straight out of a sci-fi movie, and trust us, you won't believe your eyes. Let's start with the most mind-blowing feature of the barrel eye, its transparent head. Yeah, you heard that right. These funky fish have a head that's like a living glass dome. You can actually see through it and witness their incredible internal anatomy. You are literally able to see their eyes, the optic nerve, and even their brain. It's like peeking into an underwater laboratory. Speaking of eyes, the barrel eyes are something out of this world. These incredible organs are shaped like tubes and are positioned on the top of its head, pointing upwards. This unique adaptation allows the barrel eye to look for food above them while their bodies remain hidden in the depths below. This presumably allows the eyes to collect even more light and likely protects the sensitive eyes from the stinging cells of the siphonophores, an animal from which the spookfish is believed to steal food. These mesmerizing creatures can be found in the dark depths of the ocean, specifically in the mesopelagic zone. They call these eerie waters their home, where sunlight barely reaches. But these fish are actually quite shy. We don't know much about its behavior, but they are most likely solitary. They spend their time gracefully swimming through the depths and waiting for tiny prey like jellyfish and small crustaceans to get caught in the siphonophore's tentacles. Number 8. Eucalyptus deglupta 
This is the incredible Eucalyptus decloopta, also known as the Rainbow Eucalyptus. And honestly, that needs no further explanation. Picture yourself walking through a forest and suddenly you stumble upon a tree that looks like it's been painted by a master artist. That's the Rainbow Eucalyptus for you. This unique tree is like a living canvas, with its bark showcasing a stunning palette of colors. From vibrant greens to striking oranges, reds, blues, yellows, and even purples, it's like a rainbow exploded onto its trunk. But why is it so colorful, you may ask? Well, it's all about the bark's shedding process. As the outer layers peel away, it reveals fresh, bright green bark underneath. Over time, this green surface matures and oxidates when in contact with the oxygen in the air. This process transforms each layer of bark into an array of hues, depending on how long they've been exposed. It's a living masterpiece. Now, let's talk about where this extraordinary tree calls home. You'll find this wonderful tree mostly in northern Australia. It loves the warm and humid climate where it can soak up plenty of sunshine to fuel its growth. But it's not just its colors that make the rainbow eucalyptus special. Its towering height can reach up to 250 feet, making it one of the tallest trees in the forest. Can you imagine standing next to a giant multicolored tree? It's like stepping into a fairy tale. Number 7. Miracle Mike, the chicken that lived for 18 months without a head. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard that right. A chicken that lived without a head for a year and a half. But how can that be? So here's what happened. Back in 1945, a farmer named Lloyd Olson was slaughtering chickens for dinner when he beheaded Mike, as he had done with many chickens before. But when Mike didn't stop running around the farm, Olson realized something was up. The chicken was still alive. When the Olson family saw that Mike was still alive, they decided to care for him and nurse him back to health. They fed him milk and water through an eyedropper and even gave him a place to roost at night. Even without his head, Mike acted like a regular chicken. He crowed at sunrise, preened his feathers, and even tried to peck at his feet by leaning his neck down. Mike became quite the celebrity and was even featured in newspapers all over the world. People came from far and wide to see Miracle Mike and witness his headless wonder. In fact, his owners made a whopping $4,500 a month, equivalent to $59,000 today, from showing him off. In fact, Mike was valued at $10,000, equivalent to $131,100 today. But hold up, how did Mike manage to live so long without a head? Well, it's all down to his anatomy. You see, chickens have a small brainstem that's located at the base of their brain, which controls their basic reflexes and movements. In Mike's case, the farmer had only managed to chop off a part of his head, which left the brain stem and part of his brain intact. This allowed Mike to continue functioning, albeit without his sense of sight or most of his other senses. His owners even built him a custom-made feeding tube, which helped him survive for 18 months before he finally passed away. So that's the story of Miracle Mike, the headless chicken that defied all odds and lived an extraordinary life. Number 6. Lake Natron Have you ever heard of a place so unique that it can turn animals into stone statues? Welcome to Lake Natron, one of the coolest and most bizarre spots on the planet. Located in Tanzania, this soda lake is unlike any other body of water you've ever seen. The bright red color of the lake is enough to catch your eye, but what's even crazier is the effect it has on anything that comes into contact with it. You see, reaching an alkalinity of over pH 12 and scorching temperatures of up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, Lake Natron is one of the harshest environments on Earth. So what does this mean for living things that enter the lake? Well, for fish, it's pretty much game over. They will disintegrate almost immediately upon entering the water. But for birds, the story's a bit different. When birds enter the lake, the salt and minerals in the water quickly begin to coat their feathers. And because the lake is so alkaline, it essentially turns the birds into stone statues. But fear not, don't let the lake's harsh environment scare you away from visiting. 
In fact, the unique environment of Lake Natron supports its own ecosystem, and it's one of the few places in the world where photosynthetic bacteria thrive in large numbers. These bacteria are responsible for the beautiful red color of the lake, which makes for some incredible Instagram-worthy shots. Number 5. The Blobfish Ready to meet one of the ugliest and weirdest creatures in the ocean? Introducing the Blobfish, the fish that looks like a blob. Hey, at least it has a great personality. Jokes aside, the Blobfish is a deep sea creature that can be found in the waters around Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania. This fish lives in deep waters, around 2,620 feet to 3,930 feet below the surface of the ocean, which means it's rarely seen by humans. So why does the blobfish resemble a blob of jelly when it's taken out of the water? Well, that's because it's adapted to the extreme pressure of its deep sea environment. When the blobfish is at the bottom of the ocean, the pressure is over 60 times the pressure we feel at sea level. This means that the blobfish has evolved to have a gelatinous, blob-like body that allows it to survive in its high-pressure environment. Cool, huh? So don't worry, when the blobfish is in its natural habitat, it looks totally different. Actually, it's a pretty active and playful creature. It spends most of its time on the seafloor scavenging for food like crabs and lobsters. Now, unfortunately, the blobfish is considered endangered due to overfishing and loss of its habitat, which is incredibly sad because it's such an interesting creature. But it's also important to note that even though it has a, let's say, special appearance, it's still an important part of the oceanic ecosystem and we need to protect it. Number 4. Bioluminescent Waves Have you ever heard of the magical phenomenon known as bioluminescent waves? If not, get ready to have your mind blown. Imagine walking along the beach at night and seeing the waves light up like some out of a sci-fi movie. That's what happens when bioluminescent organisms are present in the water. Bioluminescence is the ability of living organisms to produce light, and when it comes to waves, it happens when tiny planktonic organisms are present in the water. These tiny creatures, known as dinoflagellates, can emit a beautiful blue-green light when disturbed. When waves crash into the shore, they agitate these dinoflagellates, causing them to release their bioluminescent glow. This is thought to be a defense mechanism. Basically, the billions of teeny tiny organisms, when they get disturbed, like they think a fish is there to eat them, they emit this bright glow to attract a bigger fish that'll eat the fish they think is about to eat them. Isn't nature funny sometimes? The result is a mesmerizing light show that'll leave you speechless. The waves glow like neon lights, casting a surreal blue-green hue along the shoreline. And the best part? You can actually touch the water and the bioluminescence will continue to glow in your hand. Number 3. Tardigrade Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are micro-animals. Measuring 0.019 inches long, they are the smallest animal on Earth, but also the toughest. One of the most fascinating things about tardigrades is their ability to enter a state of suspended animation when they're exposed to harsh conditions. This means that they can shut down their metabolism and essentially stop all biological processes until conditions improve. Basically, they hibernate until things get better. They resemble bears in more ways than one. They've been the subject of numerous experiments to test their durability. For example, scientists have exposed tardigrades to scorching high temperatures, boiling water, and even the vacuum of space. They always come out of it like they're saying, is that all you got? But how do tardigrades manage to survive in such extreme conditions? Well, it's partly due to their unique biology. Tardigrades have a tough exoskeleton that protects them from the elements, and they also have the ability to repair their cells when they're damaged. Plus, they can adapt to different environments, which is a useful trait for a creature that lives in almost every corner of the planet. They've been found in diverse regions of Earth's biosphere, mountaintops, the deep sea, tropical rainforests, and the Antarctic. Tardigrades are the ultimate survivors. Number 2. Blood Falls 
Welcome to one of the coolest natural wonders on Earth, the Blood Falls in Antarctica. Located in the remote Taylor Valley of East Antarctica, the Blood Falls are a bright red waterfall that spills out onto the surface of West Lake Bonnie, and the reason for its eerie color is the high concentration of iron in the water. The Blood Falls gets its red color from a plume of iron oxide tainted salt water that flows from the tongue of Taylor Glacier and spills out onto the surface of the lake. It is a truly mesmerizing sight to see, with bright red water flowing through the stark white ice and snow. Now, you might be wondering why it's called Blood Falls. Well, if you use your imagination, it looks like something straight out of a horror movie. But don't worry, it is completely natural and safe to visit, if you don't mind the extreme cold, that is. Scientists have been studying the Blood Falls for years and are still uncovering its mysteries. One of the most interesting things about it is that the water still flows even when the temperature drops to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, which is colder than most household freezers. Number 1. Kiwa Hirsuta this is Kiwa Hirsuta, also known as the Yeti Crab. Discovered in 2005 by a team of scientists exploring the deep sea around Easter Island, the Kiwa Hirsuta is a species of crab that is unlike any other. This crustacean has some unique and downright bizarre characteristics that make it a fascinating creature. First of all, the Kiwa Hirsuta's body is covered in long, silky hairs that resemble fur or feathers. These hairs are actually used to farm bacteria, which the crab then eats. Talk about a DIY diet! But that's not all. The Yeti crab also has no eyes, so it relies on its sense of touch and smell to navigate its dark environment. And it doesn't have normal pincers like most crabs. Instead, it has modified appendages that it uses to grab onto food and bring it closer to its mouth. The Kiwa Hirsuta lives in the deep sea, where temperatures can reach near freezing levels. But thanks to its unique adaptations, the Yeti crab is able to thrive in this extreme environment. So why is it called the Yeti crab? Well, the long, white, and hairy arms of this crab should give it away. Plus, it's a nod to the crab's mysterious and elusive nature, living in the depths of the ocean where few humans have ever ventured. Yes, this world of ours truly is a wonderful place filled with fascinating organisms. If you could choose one of the strange things in nature mentioned in this video to see in real life, which one would it be and why? Tell us all about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.